What's up guys, Jeff Gaming here and welcome back to my Liverpool career. It is currently in this video episode 27, so if you haven't seen these videos already, you've got a lot to catch up on. But here we go. After a couple of fantastic episodes with about eight fantastic games, we've had so many goals at both ends sadly, but we've won most of them, so that's really promising. And Daniel Lager has signed his contract and our best defender rated 83 is staying with the club. So that's a one year contract extension right there. So that's fantastic news to kick off episode 27. And the first game is going to be against QPR. So that should be a really interesting one because their squad is made and it's been mashed up of random people who used to be top players pretty much. And Sturridge, we needed that as well. Our top striker now. So our top defender and top striker have both signed contract extensions. So yeah, the future of the club is looking very good indeed so first opportunity here you can see we just played forward so quickly so much pace so much precision and a bit of power here from Sturridge he's getting in the area he's dangerous and he scored well I expected that well obviously because I've already played this but uh, yeah <laughs> this guy this guy is awesome on this game he's got pace he's got power and he's a great finisher if he keeps on going like this, he could be one of the best players in the game. He's already rated 85. But here, with another opportunity, Sanchez on the ball. It's going to get knocked out toward Prowse. He's going to lay it off for Coutinho, another great player. Boom! But the reaction from the keeper and the reaction from the commentators, it was like it was nowhere near. But if you look again, it's only just over the bar. So Martin Tyler, be more enthusiastic. Like the usual. Ah! Oh! The orgasms from Martin Tyler. Just make the FIFA game. So storage here. Are we going to have one? Oh! Oh, God! Storage! Oh, yes! What a goal! Yeah? Cesar? Julio Cesar? You like that? Like me doing that wave in your face? Nine goals this season. And this has got to be one of the best. The pace he just puts on. Gets away from the defender and smash in the top corner. And a keeper like Julio Cesar, Cesar even, couldn't get close to it at all. So Gerard here, into the second half, at the hour mark, Insigne, who has come on, he's going to have a shot, and it's just wide, Insigne, he hasn't been picked too much this season, but when he comes in, he's got some great potential, he's a good lad, and he is fourth striker, so it shows the strength and depth we have up front, and QPR's opportunity here from a corner, it's not that spectacular, they really didn't play well, well to be fair, we dominated the game, so many opportunities, two amazing storage goals. And that's a 2-0 away win and three more points on the board. Game number two of this episode is against bottom of the league and it's Reading. At home, you think it's a guaranteed three points. So here we go, let's, let's do this. Let's score about five goals and just get the three points in the bag. So Matuidi here, playing it to Allen. What's he going to do? He flicks it into the box and a poor head. But no! Handball, penalty. And yeah, there's the confirmation. You just don't have your hands that high up in the box. And plus, you don't elbow my player in the chest, right? Because I know people. I know people. Right, get Sturridge off. Get Draxler on. Gerrard's on the bench. So Draxler's, Draxler's the backup. And he smashes it into the top of the net. And that's seven goals this season. It's a pretty good goal return for a midfielder. Though he is playing just behind the strikers. Great player, this Draxler. De One of the people you have to buy on career mode is Julian Draxler. 21 years old, so much potential, so much skill. One of the best youngsters in the world. And my phone's just gone off. Why does that always happen? Ah, oh, Insigne! You nearly scored. Why does my phone always go off in the videos? God damn it. Right. Reading on the attack. The dangerous. Oh, oh it's off the post. And he. Their play got knocked over by Mignolet, just to top it off after the miss. He really should have scored there, but Mignolet came out really quickly, put pressure on. Into the second half, the Reading were looking more and more dangerous, and uh, there's nothing more dangerous than a, a goal. So uh, that's one all against bottom of the table as Akpan just gives some hope to Reading. <laughs> no need to laugh. I think his name's Hope Akpan. Something like that. 
But yeah, terrible joke out the way. It's one all, and we need to sort this out because we are not drawing against Reading. Though they do have a free kick in a dangerous position, and it's a save from Mignolet. Pretty simple. But uh, yeah, they really are putting on the pressure, and we need to score a goal. So Muriel here in the box. He's always dangerous. Pulls it across, and Matuidi. No. Of all people you wanted to take that shot, it probably wasn't him, but no, what all? It's home to Reading, bottom of the table, we've drawn one all. At least you haven't lost, but still, dropping two points. That's a huge disappointment, and as you can see, it was quite an even game from them stats. So we definitely can't drop any points in this game away to Sunderland. And Sunderland are really, they're one of them teams that perform really well against the top clubs, but not so good against the clubs around them. And Graham, he barely scores in real life, and that pre pretty much sums it up. A great, uh, not a great effort, what am I saying? A pretty easy effort, first of all, and he just cocks up the second one. Sigurdsson, who Sunderland have signed, got really close to the target there. Bit of a free kick specialist, and Fletcher gets even closer. How he didn't score from there, I will never know. Because Sunderland are dominating us right now, and we only have one... Opportunity in the first half from Muriel here. It's not a great one either. So <laughs> it's not looking good at the moment. But back into the second half. Come on, we can get closer. With a Draxler pile driver. Just wide. And Martin Tyler goes crazy again. But the subs have come on. Insigne is back. The man of the moment. It's come out to Allen. He's going to have a shot. Oh, it's off the defender's hand and it's in. Oh, we are so lucky and Joe Allen, who never scores, has put it home off the defender's hand. How unlucky can you get, Sunderland? How unlucky can you get as a Newcastle fan? I love that goal. So 1-0 up. There we go. Three points in the bag. Guess again. Because Sigurdsson is on the attack here. What a great save for Mignolet. Keeping us in the game and he's had a... Great performance in this game, one of his best, but Sunderland, 90th minute, injury time. I panicked here, tried to wipe him out, I did. So I kind of stopped, I thought it was going to be a free kick. And then the Altador, the Altador, 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 whatever his name is, who never scores. He's awful. One goal last season, scores a goal. But look at this, two foot of challenge, man. It's a straight red. Assaulted the ball. But later on, the drama continued. In no, it's Draxler. Draxler has a shot. Oh, it's off the ball. Yes! You wish? No. No, it's offside. I'm just kind of repeating my uh, re reaction from when I played this. I shouted out and was just absolutely devastated. And that cost me two points. Two draws in a row against Reading and Sunderland. No offence to them teams, but we should be bashing both of them. So that's four points dropped. Next game was against Leon in the Champions League. As we'd already qualified, I just thought, it's a bit of a pointless game, so I'll sim this and show you the result. And it's a victory. 2-0 away from home, and we are definitely through top of the group into the second phase. So, final game of the episode. Biggest game of the episode, at home to Man United. The rivalry is intense. Yes, it is. And here we go. Can we beat... I don't know what to say about them. <laughs> but Kakawa, what's this? Don't see him do this that often for Man United. Great after there. We're very unlucky. But it all kicked off, it really did. Right there. Once again, handball penalty, second one of the episode. And we, we need a bit of confirmation as Raphael is penalised. Keep your hand... Why are you elbowing my defender in the face? I think he was going in for a kiss afterwards as well. But Stevie G's back, and it's against Man United. So, it's got to be done. So you put that in the back of the net like that, 1-0 up. Brap, brap, brap. Yeah, boy. And you put your finger up to your lips and shush that crowd. And yeah, Alexis, get out of Gerard. It's not a good look for our team. And I'm not fancying it. But it's a good penalty there. De Gea went the wrong way. And it's 1-0. But uh, yeah, it's as quick as that, as quick as that. I had the ball, I gave it away, but in the blink of an eye, Van Persie put it in the net. The ball through was amazing, and he just slots it home. And no wonder he's top scorer. Look, he just knocks it past the defence, 
and then boom, <laughs> so quick. <laughs> I had no chance. It's just one of those FIFA goals where you know it's, it has to happen. But Van Persie once again he's through his dangerous great challenge there. But uh, I brought the keeper out. I probably shouldn't. And uh, yeah, Nani, who doesn't even play for them anymore, scores against me. Nani, who was pretty much useless, scores against me. I brought the keeper out too far, and Sacco didn't go where I wanted him to. Damn it! But in a game like this, there's always controversy. And there it is again! Third time in this episode, second time in this game, handball, penalty. That's why the name of this episode is Handball Penalty. You really shouldn't be punching the ball, Smalling, and that's why you're just freaking awful. So, uh, goodbye, Sturridge. It's Stevie G coming back for round two. Come on, slot it home. Same place, same result. Same place, same result. And it's 2 all. Shushing the crowd. Yeah, Man United fans, screw you. Not really, I love you really. But look at the yes, yeah, so he gets so scared by the chickens. Oh, oh I hate chicken. Drax Lamar. Stop for that chicken. The 2 all. Could we make it 3 2? And could it be a Gerard Hattrick right here, right now? Oh! A good save there from De Gea. It could have been a hat trick for Stevie G. And that would have topped off a great comeback. Shame, really. But it finished 2 all. I'm not disappointed with that. The thing I'm disappointed with is three draws in a row. So, in that episode, six points from a possible 12, not the best. We'll uh, have lost some ground against top of the table Man United. So, we need to pick it up in the next episode, episode 28. So I'll be getting that out for you next week. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like, subscribe, or leave a comment. And I'll catch you then. Goodbye.